Hello, ladies and gents. I am the Rev. Welcome back to more Starfield. And in this episode, we are going to the Red Mile on the run. It's supposed to be a wicked section. Yes. Looks like it took a couple jumps to get there. <clears throat> Oh shit! Wrong place, wrong Clicked it off for some reason. Okay. Oh, scan. I gotta remember to do that just because you get, uh, you wind up getting stuff for that. The Red Mile. Landing gear's ready. Proceed without your spacesuit. I am not equipped to dispose of corpses. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, that's funny. What's interesting is I have. Well, yeah, I'm I'm in a spacesuit. This the the temperature shouldn't I don't even think bother me at all. You know what I'm saying? Sub G. You can ask her yourself. Chris here. Okay. Hello. All right. So we're obviously in a casino. I'm really not in the mood. Wait a minute. Judging by the wide-eyed and clueless look on your face, I'm guessing you're the new deputy. <sighs> yeah, bitch. Come on now. We'll find out, won't we? Well, your timing couldn't be worse. I've spent weeks trying to crack this smuggling ring, and I'm about to take a very important meeting. Because I've trained new recruits before, and it's not an experience I want to repeat. I hope so. Oh, I can, I don't have honey. time to catch you up, so you're gonna have to follow my lead. I'm about to meet with a contact who might be able to give me vital information about the smuggling ring. If you play your cards right and don't do anything stupid, she might be able to help you find Marco. All right. If you're ready, my contact is here and waiting. Yep. Oh. She won't be staying long, so I don't have time to brief you. You'll find out everything you need to know when you meet with her. Follow me. Well, I can imagine. She's like, really? A damn rookie? May runs a tidy establishment. Let's keep it that way. It's really oh, the slow walk. Oh, you said you'd be alone. Yeah, well, things changed. Take a seat. 
Come on, sit. So you're working with Autumn, huh? Oop. You should follow Autumn. Join us. So you're working with Autumn, huh? Okay, I guess I didn't sit in the right chair. Deputy. Well, hold on. I didn't know it was a specific chair I had to sit in. Who are you? Wait, Autumn has friends. Like hell. The deputy here is interested in meeting Marco to talk about that mercenary company he's been funding. Since part of that money is coming from his smuggling operation, we're working together. So you're investigating the first? Why? Um... Mm, seems like a strange thing for a mercenary company to be doing. Yeah. I guess an introduction is in order. Like Marco, Jade here is the head of a small smuggling cartel. Difference is her crew stays out of Freestar Collective space, while Marco's group operates exclusively within it. Ah. Except now he's looking to expand his operations. Of course he is. And he started moving in on my territory. <laughs> now you're talking. Look, the bad news is Marco's incredibly paranoid. Never stays in one place for long. The good news is, I know how to find him. But you're not going to tell us yet because you want something. I want the same thing you do. I want Marco out of the picture. But like I said, getting a meeting with him can be damn near impossible. One of the few people who can arrange such a meeting is right here at Red Mile. May Divine. We've suspected uh -oh. for some time that Red Mile was a meeting place for smugglers. If she's in business with Marco, she won't give him up easily. My thinking exactly. I can tell you right now what she's gonna want, because it's the same thing she always wants. She wants runners. It's how she makes most of her money. Yep. Of course, people that hard-blooded aren't easy to find. Yeah, well, I'm not going out on the mile. That's a death sentence. There has to be another way. You've been a ranger long enough that too many people know your face and your name. Runners attract a lot of attention. If someone recognizes you and tips off May, this whole thing is shot. Crap. You, on the other hand, are just a deputy. It's pretty unlikely that a lot of people know you. You don't have to do this. We'll find another way to get to Marco. <sighs> All right. It's your call to make. Of course it is. If it's really as simple as asking May Divine for a meeting with Marco, then I guess that's all you need to do. Now we need to make it we'll through the mile. wait here for you. Try not to die. Will you? You're really going to take on the mile, huh? Please be careful out there. Well, maybe she'll tell us what the mile I is. Like there on the red mile. Ah, a new face. I wonder, is this the face of a brave runner here to challenge the Red Mile? Or simply one seeking a respite from the burdens of life? My name is May, and I'm the proprietor of this establishment, home of the famous Red Mile. I assume you're familiar. Heard of it, not sure what it is. Oh? Let's rectify that then, shall we? You will not find a more exciting blood sport in all the settled systems. The Red Mile is an exciting and deadly race to the finish for the galaxy's bravest champions. Those that manage to complete the course win fame and fortune. Those that don't are never heard from again. <clears throat> I'm happy to answer any other questions you might have. So it's just, meantime, it's a, it's a please running enjoy gun? The world's famous hospitality. Hold on, huh? Well, it's quite simple, really. Once you register with me, we'll have a little pomp and circumstance before sending you on your way out the big red door. 
Then it's a race to the buzzer at the other end of the course. You'll deal with obstacles and deadly creatures alike, while people up here place bets on how far you'll get. Make it back alive, and you'll stand to win riches and the admiration of your fans. I'm sure you can figure out what happened. Of course they do. You're oh, I thought I asked Thank you. Yes, of course they bet on our runners' lives. We're outside of the colonies and free stars for a reason. Betting is a huge part of the Red Mile's appeal. How better to make the most exciting sport? Repeat runners draw bigger bets. You should ask Donovan how much bets on him were worth before he was forced to retire. Of course. And if you're thinking. Of that is true, but Mr. Graziani values his privacy. What is your business with him, exactly? Mm. Actually, I bet you I want to work for him because do, if I can do the red mount, yeah. It's no small favor that you're asking, but yes, I can arrange such a meeting. It's been too long since we've had proper if you're willing to provide it, I'll give you my God. Are you prepared to run the Red Mile? Good. Once you've begun, I'll collect bets from my patrons who will place wagers on your survival. Can I place bets? Ah, there you go. Ah. Oh, Alex. bullshit. But I'm sure your confidence will inspire our patrons to play substantial wagers on your survival. That's what every runner says. Now that we're clear on what's expected of you, are you ready to begin? Good. Come with me and I'll introduce you. All right, sweet. This time the quest didn't break. Deep staircase. Alright, so before I do that, always a good idea to save in these spots if it lets us. Look at that, you can workbench, spacesuit. No goodies to actually do, it looks like. Is that where we need to go, huh? Ooh, frame rate's not doing so good, is it?
And I'm buying my loan somewhere. Okay. I hear my big boy. Oh, goody. Whoa. That sucked. What was that all about? Now we gotta make it over there somehow. Oh shit, that came out of nowhere. Oh, this is ridiculous. Daily and a dollar short there, son. Reload your damn gun. Oh my god. Really? You can't load a gun when you're getting hit? That is ridiculous, man. That's all the rounds of that I've got. Good idea to do that. Alright, that's fully loaded. Alright, there's one over 
there. Good, just keep running. Trying to be sneaky. I'm gone. What the hell? Why is this such an issue? That is the Oh, this game really makes some Oh my god, poor decisions with what it tells you to do. Oh my god. Ooh. Come on. Really? Yeah, it's just surrounded with bugs, isn't it? Now my guy can't run for some reason. There too, you need to go get. Oh, this is crap. God, this game. Yeah, this is not cool. Okay, I got ideas. I get back there in one piece.
How ridiculous. Yeah, I'm just not a fan of how that was set up. I don't know, we'll see if we'll make it out in one piece here. I already killed everything going in, so I would think, unless they put something at the very end here. Why is there an engineer guy? No, good thing I came through when he did. I would have to wait for him to cycle through. That was impressive. Pardon? Congratulations, runner. You have succeeded where most have failed. In fact, you seem none the worse for wear. Indeed you have, and in most impressive fashion. As promised, I'll set up your meeting with Marco. I'll dispatch a courier to let him know you're coming. Please take a moment to relax and enjoy our hospitality. I'll return shortly. I'm on duty. Let's get the hell out of my face. I hear you're one of the runners to watch. You're back. Are you okay? Mostly. You're looking particularly fetching today. Really? Either the Red Mile's reputation is exaggerated, or you're just that good. Anyway, you just need to what kind of I'm relieved like a, you made a good flamer weapon probably would have done huh. great there. Afraid you'd lose all that work you put into your smuggling investigation. I wouldn't expect you to understand. All you see in people is what you can get from them. I'm glad, because that was an incredibly brave thing you did. And we need rangers with that kind of courage. Also, I... I owe you an apology. I was pretty awful to you at first. I'm sorry about that. You're right. Let's focus on the job. Yep. Once you're on your way, I'll return to the rock and let the marshal know what's going on. Come home safe, deputy. That's an order. You always were the soft one, little sister. Oh. oh, go to hell. Or at least make yourself useful and get us some drinks. That's where that... How funny. Well, if you develop a sudden sense don't of... don't see a lot of people cut. survive the fire. I don't make chit-chat with patrons. Time for me to keep my promise, runner? You can find Marco on Kodos aboard his ship. I'd advise you not to keep him waiting. He is not exactly patient. Only that someone wanted a meeting. Don't expect to catch him unprepared. He keeps a sizable force of mercenaries aboard his ship as bodyguards. He's intelligent, well-connected, and utterly ruthless. He's also a man of taste who appreciates the finer things. You'll find out soon enough what I mean. Good. Travel safely, runner. Should you ever crave the challenge of the mile again, it will be here, waiting for you. Yeah, if I had the right kind of weapons. All right, folks. Well, we are good to go. Uh, we'll end the episode there. When we come back, we're going to go see Mr. Marcus, dude, on the run. Yeah. Go to Kodos. And I got a feeling that that's going to be either a space battle, a ship battle, or both. Probably take a while to get through all of it. So, keep your heads down, your weapons of doom up, and I'll see you again real damn soon.